The most common misinterpretation and misuse of this text is to say that Paul is making a statement on hermeneutics. That word hermeneutics simply means the art or science of Bible interpretation. So Paul would be saying, according to this view, disregard the literal letter of the scripture and look for the deeper spiritual meaning behind the text. Or Paul would be saying, don't look at the words of the Bible because the letter kills, but be led rather by the Spirit because the Spirit, he gives life. Or Paul is saying, the Bible is a lifeless, dull, dead, dusty, dreary book, irrelevant to Christians today, follow the Spirit. Or Paul means that the Bible is lifeless and it is dangerous. It's harmful to read the Bible. It's harmful to be led by the letter of Scripture. The letter killeth. It's much more important to follow the spirit of the Bible. That is to say, the sentiments of the Bible, not the actual words. A very common interpretation of the text. Such a reading of the text, however, is forced on the text from outside and disregards entirely the context. It is a common ploy used by men and women who want to disregard what the Bible says and who want to follow their own whims and fancies and say that that is an insight that the Spirit gave them. And so they are not following the letter that kills. They are following the Spirit. The Spirit gives life. And if you criticize them from the Bible about their doctrinal positions or about their moral conduct, they will say, Oh, don't you know the letter killeth? Don't you know that precise biblical doctrinal Christianity that's killing the church today? We need the Spirit. But that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with our text. If that were the case, Paul the great apostle would in the middle of a complicated argument concerning the Old and the New Testament throw in a statement saying, the Bible, don't listen to the Bible. Why in the world would Paul do that? Paul could not do that. Paul would never denigrate the Holy Scriptures. He had a high view of Scripture. He was sent by Jesus Christ, who himself had a high view of Scripture. He was inspired by the Holy Spirit, who breathed forth the Scripture, and therefore has a high view of his own Scripture. So don't just say, the letter, that must be the Bible, it kills the Spirit, that's the Holy Spirit, it gives life, that's the end of the discussion, that's what the text means. It does not mean that. Nor are we left to our own devices to decide for ourselves what the text might mean. We compare Scripture with Scripture to discover what the word letter means in our text. Letter means something written, the rudiments of learning, or simply words. After all, words are made up of letters. And the Greek word here, translated letter, is grammar, from which we get the word grammar. Here are examples of the use of that word in the New Testament. John 5, verse 47. But if ye believe not his writings, literally his letters, how shall ye believe my words? John 7, verse 15. And the Jews marveled, saying, 
How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Acts 26, 24. Acts 26, 24. And as he, that is, Peter, thus, or Paul rather, thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself, much learning, literally, many letters doth make thee mad. And 2 Timothy 3, verse 15, Paul recommends to Timothy that he should read the Holy Scriptures, literally, the Holy Letters. 1 Timothy, or 2 Timothy 3, verse 15. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, literally, the Holy Letters, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Paul is not saying, therefore, that the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, that kills. Because here in 2 Timothy 3, he commands the prayerful reading of the Holy Scriptures. The Bible does not kill. The Bible does not kill the church or destroy the life of the church. The Bible makes us wise unto salvation. That's why the psalmist is always singing, and we sang from Psalm 119 tonight, always singing about how much he loves the Word of God. It does not kill. 